29-21-0 after the first quarter. Ty Dothert in for the touchdown. It's 28-14, Illinois. Dothert, 172 yards and two touchdowns. Late in the fourth quarter, it's 31-28, Illinois leading. But Kerry Collins hits Freddie Scott for 16 and a first down. Collins, 7 of 7 on Penn State's final drive. They have a first and goal at the Illinois 2. And Brian Milne, 57 seconds left. His third touchdown of the day, capping a 96-yard drive as Penn State rallies to win it. It was the Nittany Lions' biggest comeback win since Paterno became head coach in 66. Kajana Carter ran for 110. The 14-12 Husker lead in the fourth quarter, so they had a tight one until Brooke Barringer hit Abdul Muhammad for the touchdown, and Lawrence Phillips, his 11th straight game of rushing for 100 yards or more. He also had a couple of touchdowns as Nebraska pulls away. The Huskers clinch a share of the Big 8 championship, but still need to beat Oklahoma in Norman in two weeks to clinch that Orange Bowl berth. Auburn hosting Eric Zire and Georgia. Auburn leading 23-16 fourth quarter. That Zire to Bryce Hunter, about 13 minutes left, tying the game at 23. But Auburn with a chance to win for Terry Bowden. Junior Matt Hawkins from 42 yards. It's up there, it's out there, but it is not good there. Why? Terry thought it was good, it was not. So they finish at a tie. The nation's longest winning streak comes to an end at 20, although Terry Bowden still hasn't lost in two seasons. Stephen Davis rushing for 186 yards and two touchdowns. Zaire throwing for over 260 yards. Unbeaten Alabama in Starkville. Gene Stallings, his team behind, 25-15. But here's Jay Barker for Curtis Brown. It's a 42-yard touchdown, a 25-22 Bulldog lead. Barker passing for 325 yards and three touchdowns. This a big catch from Sherman Williams, who was at the wideout spot. Nice grab down to the 16, and then on third and goal, you see how much time is remaining. Seldom used Dennis Riddle in for the touchdown. Stallings, his team pulls it out, 29 to 25. The Tide clinches the SEC Western Division title. They're the only ones to do it since the two-division format began in 1992. Sherman Williams tap. Kenny Holmes in to knock John Ryan out of the game, although he came back to throw just the second touchdown pass against the Canes this season. And then tailback Trent Jones breaking a tackle, going 31 yards for the touchdown. Miami holds on unimpressively. They were a 33-point favorite. Miami's defense hadn't given up a touchdown in 18 quarters before Pitt broke the string. Billy West 160 yards rushing against the Canes. You know why they call it the blind side? because you can't see anything. Danny Cannell gets nailed by Bobby Taylor. He picks up the fumble, and there he goes, 57 yards unmolested for the score. Notre Dame up by one. On the ground, it was all Florida State. Rock Preston, straight out of the Flintstones with a name like Rock. 28 yards, you go, Rock. FSU leads by six, fourth quarter. It's tied, Warwick Dunn running left around the corner, and he's in for the score five yards. Florida State wins it by seven. Warwick Dunn and Rock Preston combined for 328 yards on the ground. Notre Dame just 73 yards through the air. They dropped their third game in four tries. USC <laughs> keeping Rose Bowl hopes alive against Arizona. First half, Dan White. He's thinking deep. He's throwing deep. Richard Dice receiving deep. 37 yards in the score. 14-7 Zona. Rob Johnson brought SC back. He goes deep as well to Ed Hervey. 32 yards on that touchdown. And John Robinson, does he like the Gatorade? Oh, that's a scornful look from the coach. USC, a winner by 17, keeping their Rose Bowl hopes alive. 25 of 35 passing for Rob Johnson, including 15 straight completions in the second half. The two teams combined for 35 points in the third quarter alone. Other games, my cousin Vinny's favorite team, the Utes, taking on Air Force. Thanks for the laugh. Bo Morgan finding Jake Campbell on the 10-yard score. He gets in one of three for Campbell on the day. And look, they're tearing down the goalpost. Your tax dollars at work. Air Force a winner, 40-33. Number 16, Duke in Raleigh to meet NC State. Terry Harvey rolling, finding Mike Guffey on the two-yard score. 24-23 Wolfpack then. Under two minutes to go. Tom Cochran from 51. No good. Duke loses 24-23. Number 17, Syracuse facing Boston College. 24-0 Eagles, and there was more where that came from. David Green finds a, I think it's safe to call that, a gaping hole, and he would be gone. 70 yards, Orangemen, a loser, 31-0 BC. The Terry Dean era appears to be over in Gainesville, Florida. Danny Werfel throws for 357 yards as the Gators down South Carolina. That and more as we check the top 25 scores.